Hello and welcome. This is James from the DSO Imager channel. And today we're going to talk about galaxy season and small telescopes. I know it's an issue that a lot of people run into. You're starting out in astrophotography. You do your research. You follow the advice that a lot of people give you, which is to get a short focal length refractor. Or maybe you're running a DSLR with a uh, roughly 200 millimeter lens or so and a galaxy rolls around and you're at a loss as to what to take pictures of. Uh, there's nothing big. There's no uh, giant nebula that you're used to. In the winter we had all the wonderful stuff around Orion like M42 and the Horsehead and now those targets are far in the west and uh, you got these little tiny galaxies and they seem kind of silly to take pictures of. Well, I'm here to tell you that there's actually plenty of things to do in galaxy season at shorter focal lengths. What you really need to do is adjust your expectations and perspective a little bit. And uh, what you really should be aiming for is wide field shots. So yeah, if we take a look at some of these more popular targets. Right, M81, M82, a lot of people go after that. Let me go ahead and get a sensor on there. So this is uh, the square. This square represents using a stellar view SV70T. That's uh, my 70 millimeter refractor, 336 millimeter focal length. And uh, that looks like the sensor that we have on there right now is an ASI 294. So this is a pretty typical uh, setup here. And yeah, M81 actually works out okay. Now a lot of people shoot M81. How about pinwheel? How does that look? I mean that's not too bad. It's a it's a little a little small in there, but if you crop it, it'll look all right. Of course, you're not going to get the detail uh, that you see some people with uh, longer focal length scopes. And uh, what else is in this area? Well, you got M51, right? And yeah, I mean it's it's going to get lost. So it's such a cool target. Not really the best one though for short focal length. I mean it looks good. It's nice to see uh, a galaxy with a lot of space around it, but there are better targets. And so what you really should be setting your sights on is Leo and all around Leo. Now the Leo uh, triplet is another famous target and you can see this frames up pretty well. I think any target that's got get, that gives you three or more uh, decently sized galaxies are are fair game for short shorter focal lengths. So Leo is certainly good, and a lot of people hit Leo, but a little bit further up front, you got M105, M96, M95. I mean, in this one frame. You've got five decently sized galaxies. And this little cluster here, this is one that you hardly ever see. You don't see a lot of this. Everyone is taking pictures of M81, M82, M106, uh, Leo Triplet, Markarian's Chain, which is a great target. But other than that, uh, that's it. So there's actually a lot of options out there. Let's, let's go over to Markarian's Chain. Now Markarian's chain gets all the attention and you could see with this small scope and a uh, three-quarter size sensor you're getting a lot in here but there's so much in this area that I mean you don't have to do Markarian's chain. You got M100 over here, M99 over here, Lots of stuff. 
So the point I'm trying to make is that if you got that short field refractor, do some wide field shots. There is plenty of stuff to take shots of and nothing speaks to the vastness of space more than a wide field shot with dozens of galaxies in your image. And just to give an idea of how they look, I've got a few that I can share. So there's your classic M81, M82. This is with uh, that SV70T and the uh, ASI 533. My skies are not quite dark enough to pull out that IFN. You can see hints of it in here, but not enough to really note, make it too noticeable. But this is always a good target. Now, a lot of people shoot this early. I will say this is actually a very challenging target. For one thing, you got these two pretty bright galaxies. The processing actually needs to be a little bit different for each. And the color is always a challenge to get right on M81, I think. And of course, M82 with uh, the HA region, it's really hard to uh, get that to show out well, too. Uh, usually what I do with stuff like this, I'll create a mask for each one and that way I can work on each galaxy independently. Uh, this shot I took earlier in the year uh, tw in 2021. There's that Leo triplet. Now this looks like it's in close uh, but this is also with that little 70 millimeter scope and uh, I took this a couple years ago and I was using at the time an ASI 178 so it's actually a small sensor uh, just a six megapixel sensor uh, but it's got the same type of pixels that the ASI 183 does so if you've got a ASI 183 and a 70 80 millimeter refractor you're gonna get this with with more uh, a slightly larger field of view it'll it'll look pretty nice it'll um, frame up real nice and three very cool galaxies in here and here's the uh, the ever famous Mercarian's chain I took this a little over a year ago this is with an ASI 1600 again same scope that SV70T and there's so many galaxies in here it's always fun to uh, look at these wide field shots and see all these little galaxies. If you're feeling adventurous, you can try to uh, find out what all of them are. The plate solvers will identify most of the larger ones, but um, but some of these really faint ones, even the plate solvers aren't going to pull up. It's always cool to see barred spiral galaxies like that. And this one I actually just finished up uh, this past weekend. This is with the ASI 533, same telescope, SV70T. This is a two-panel mosaic. I just wanted to get all these small galaxies in here, right? So there's M100. Got M99 down there. but so much to look at. A lot of fun doing wide field shots like this. And if you get bored or you get ambitious, you can uh, work towards uh, doing some mosaics and really build out a nice shot. So anyway, just a short video to help folks who are uh, a little bit at a loss. When I was first starting astrophotography, I remember uttering to myself, I can't wait for galaxy season to be over. But that was like my first galaxy season. And now there's uh, no shortage of targets out there to have fun with. So if anyone's got any questions or comments, feel free to add them. Otherwise, clear skies.